I'm from uh, Salmon Well, Superior area, and everybody up there used to work in the m copper mines. My dad was a, a diamond drill contractor, so I was able to work with him. And to be a good miner, you have to be able to work with tools. So it just was uh, kind of second nature to me. And uh, Tucson, and I've lived here for about 34 years. My name is Ray Nosick. First and last, Ray Nosick. <laughs> Some of the people in here are really good potters. I've only been doing it for about two years. <laughs> I'm known as the guy that wants to cut off everything and make it instant. <laughs> so I'm learning patience. After 65 years, I'm learning patience. Good. <laughs> I don't like myself. I, I can't make two pots the same. I, I, my sister-in-law is also in this class. She's not here today. She, she kind of got me going in this class too. And uh, she makes every plate exactly alike. Perfect. She's, she's perfect at doing that. And I couldn't do that to save my life. You know, I just put a piece of clay here and then I just start working with it. I never know what it's going to come out like until I'm old, until it's finished. And to me, that's fun. I always loved to play with clay since I was a little kid. I used to make dinosaurs out of clay and everything. So it's just a wonderful way to express yourself, you know. You, know, you start with a lump of clay like he did a little while ago and look at, look at what a beautiful thing he's producing. And unlike me, he's very meticulous. Yeah. The clay does what it wants to do. <laughs> yeah, we've come to that conclusion. The clay kind of tells us what it wants us to do. I'm, I'm, I'm basically in the class so that I can learn how to do bonsai pots because I'm really into bonsai. And right now I'm just putting the finishing touches on the bottom of the pot for drainage. And then we put this lip here so that we cut feet in it so when it, we turn it upside down then it drains the water out. It's a frame for the plant. But unlike a, unlike a painting, you know, it's an essential part because without the pot, you have no support of the roots and the plant would die. So it's, it's more than a frame, but it's a lot like a frame. Well, I retired from dentistry after 30 years and my son got me a plant. I didn't even really know what bonsai was. So I went down a couple months later to the store that he bought it at and I, and I bought another one. But my son really influenced me because I wanted to do something that he enjoyed doing that we could do something together. And uh, he passed away uh, from uh, bipolar. He just wasn't taking his meds. So this is my way of learning. One of these days when I'm with him again in heaven, I'm gonna be doing bonsai with him. And uh, Twenty-one. Just turned twenty-one, not too long before that. But Drew, Drew is like I am in a lot of respects. We both, we always try to bug people to find out what's really on their mind. So we used to drive each other crazy, deep conversations. And when he was younger, he didn't know what he was talking about. And I said, well, you know, son, I don't mind ca carrying these conversations on, but why don't you do some reading first? So then he starts reading all these philosophers. But I, I never even heard the names of these guys before. And then he'd come and argue with me, and, and then I was the ignorant one. <laughs> so he reversed it on me. <laughs> they asked me in church if I would start uh, taking care of some of the plants down at our church at Catalina United Methodist. And uh, I said I would, and, and my son's ashes are sprinkled in the, in the flower garden. So every Friday I go and talk to him and I work right where he's, right where he's at. <laughs> it's hard to say if you really have the presence of somebody. I always am thinking about him and uh, that in a way is a presence, I guess. Just You don't really talk to one another, but you feel, you feel like you're close with one another. When you're young, you don't realize the most important things are right around you. Your family's the most important part of your life, more than anything else. Everything else is just incidental. But you don't realize that when you're younger. You think making money and being successful and 
is an important thing and it really isn't. It's not the most important thing of your life at all. Bonsai is exact duplication of life. About the times you think you get cocky and think you know what you're doing and something happens wrong, a plant dies, or something happens and it brings you back to reality that you're still a student all the time, you know? You have to humble yourself to learn how to start over again. Each thing you do is starting over again.